How was your day, darling? Fine. And yours? Fine. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. so much. Yes, sir. I have a few slices left. Shall I get you one? That would be lovely. Thank you. Don't you think that's the wrong bread for this soup? Darling, I thought you said you 
want you hungry. No, I said I didn't want Eugene to bring me an entree. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you have taken mine. We're dear friends, darling, aren't we? It's all right if I just take your food, yes, because we are dear friends. Eugene, another entree, please. <laughs> Miss Bonaparte called today. Oh? She said that she came across our dear friend Gerald while he was perusing some shirts at some quaint little shop downtown. Mm -hmm. Well, I might not have the best feelings about Gerald, but Miss Bonaparte said she found him rather attractive. Ah. She was wondering if he might be interested in a weekend at a family cottage in the country. I said you would ask him. No. No, you won't ask him? No. Don't you think it would be good for him to get out of the house, breathe the fresh country air, spend some time with someone else who can pay for every whip and provide another home to squat in? No. Dear friend, darling, <laughs> give me your plate. I'm eating this, darling. You'll have to get your own. I'm sure Gerald would find it upsetting if you told him he would have to get his own. Gerald is <laughs> the one I'm talking to right now. Correct. You're speaking with your wife, with whom you should be sharing everything. On hand my food, darling. <laughs> Spark the heiress, what the devil can she want? May I inquire as to the nature of your call, madam? One moment. She's inquiring about the party tomorrow evening. Party? Tomorrow evening? What party tomorrow evening? To what party tomorrow evening are you referring, Mrs. Batsmark? Mrs. Illibetti's request? What party tomorrow evening? We're having a party tomorrow evening. And why didn't you inform me of this? I was getting to it. And where is this party? Here, in the house. Well, it can't be. I'm having a private dinner tomorrow evening here in the house. Well, you can't. There won't be any room in the house tomorrow evening because I'll be having my party. I already promised Mrs. Glad's part. She's an heiress. I can't say no. Well, I promised Gerald, so you will have to move your party. Eugene, bring me the phone. <laughs> No, Eugene. Bring me the phone. <laughs> Gerald will just have to be disappointed. Perhaps if he had his own apartment, you could have your little dinner there. Mrs. Gladspark, hello. Yes, <laughs> the party will be tomorrow evening. <laughs> yes. Oh, we'll need food for 40 people? Yes. I should think so. And a band, something raucous and loud. We shall be partying all night long. <laughs> should it be a costume party? <laughs> You're right. The time of year is all wrong. Silly me. But should it have a theme? <gasps> the circus. What a wonderful idea, Mrs. Gladspark. Street performers? Why, I think street performers would be amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad a woman of your statue would take interest in my household, Mrs. Gladspark. Eugene, <laughs> bring me the other phone. <laughs> Mrs. Gladspark, I can't tell you how much Jonathan is also looking forward to this party. He was just saying the other day how much he respects you and would so love to discuss the current state of affairs with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Gladspark, I'm terribly sorry. Carolyn is suffering from a terrible fever. There is no party tomorrow evening. I need to tend to her now, poor thing. She'll call you to apologize later. Goodbye. Mrs. Gladspark, so sorry. <laughs> Just Jonathan having a laugh. He's already excited about the circus theme. Party is still on. I'll come by this afternoon to discuss food. Ta-ta. Mrs. 
Gladsburg. So sorry about Carolyn. It's the drugs. So many drugs. <laughs> no party. Goodbye. Party on, Mrs. Gladsburg. Goodbye, Mrs. Gladsburg. Goodbye. 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 No party. Party. No party, just dinner. Dinner during the party. A private dinner with Gerald. Oh, to hell with Gerald. He can freeload off of someone else for dinner tomorrow. He's not freeloading off of anyone. Uh, Eugene, <laughs> kindly take Carolyn's phone away. You'll do nothing of the sort, Eugene. Please hang up Jonathan's phone. He's eavesdropping. Eavesdropping in my own home? I'm protecting my private dinner. Protecting your sponge, you mean? I'm Mrs. Gladspark. I will see you tomorrow. Eugene, take her phone. Mrs. Gladspark, I'm afraid you'll need a new venue. Eugene, take his phone. Mrs. Gladspark, make that 50 people. This dinner is very important to me. How can dinner with your little sponge possibly be important? Because he's not a sponge, he's my lover. Eugene? And please, ring up Mrs. Gladspark from one of the other phones and tell her there will be a party tomorrow evening. Tell her we will be celebrating my husband's honesty. You will come, won't you, Jonathan? With Gerald? What's a party without everyone being happy?